Robotic Combat Aerial Vehicles, or UCAVs, are combat drones that carry aircraft weaponry, including rockets, anti-tank guided missiles, explosives, and hardpoints for drone attacks, and are used for information surveillance and target acquisition and observation. Drones are usually operated in real time by humans with different degrees of autonomy. Have you ever wondered about the world's most advanced military drones? Well, in this video, we are going to uncover it. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Hi everyone, welcome back to Metal Forge, where you will be watching all about the latest military technologies, top-level weapons, aircraft, and much more. Drone number 10, MQ-9 Reaper. The Reaper is used primarily for information gathering and, to a lesser extent, against dynamic targets. It has a remarkable capacity to execute the strike, synchronization, and protection from high-valued transient and time-sensitive targets due to its substantial loiter duration, high-range detectors, multi-mode connectivity suite, and extraordinary weapon power. Intelligence, surveillance, combat search and rescue, and precision attack are some of its most predominant features, as well as buddy lays, fleet and raid overwatch, route clearing, target identification, and terminal air guidance. Additionally, the MQ-9 is exceptionally prepared to perform unconventional warfare activities supporting regional commander goals. The MQ-9 is not the most technically advanced drone today, but it is the most widely created, adopted, and deployed. The Reaper is becoming the poster child of contemporary drone warfare, with many improvements, a few pilots, and thousands of flying hours underneath its belt. Drone number 9, AAI RQ-7. The RQ-7 Shadow from AAI Corporation is an unmanned tactical surveillance aerial drone presently used by the U.S. Army and Marine Corps. Ground leaders use the system as a day-night targeting, surveillance system, and battlefield evaluation platform. The Shadow has a single monoplane high wing mounted to the back of the fuselage. A fixed chassis consists of two significant wheels and a head wheel, and the fuselage is flat with straight sides. Tubular tail booms straddle the back side-mounted propeller-driven pusher engine, extending from the airfoil's trailing edge. The tail part has a distinctive angle-up form towards the end. The system's main component is an infrared real-time relaying camera mounted beneath the fuselage. The AAI RQ-7 Shadow is a surveillance and reconnaissance drone designed especially for the U.S. Army. The UAV is released from a trailer-mounted cannon and must be recovered using a resting airplane gear. Since the demise of the Alliant RQ-6 Outrider, Army forces have been looking for a reliable battlefield drone. The smaller drone's outstanding range helps support Army missions, however, it is limited to weather conditions. Drone number 8, Tai Oxengur. Tai is developing the Tai Oxengur, Uncrewed Aerial Vehicle, or UAV, for the Turkish Armed Forces. It is the manufacturer's giant drone with cargo capacity for mission-specific equipment based on current innovation from the Tai Anka series of drones. It will be utilized for long-term observation, intelligence, marine patrol operations, and autonomous combat aerial vehicle missions. Tai integrated these armament kits in early 2020. The design has a straight-winged platform with modest winglets at the ends and minor tapering of the trailing edges. The avionics fit, different cameras, sensing systems, and fuel tanks are all high-mounted along the central fuselage portion. A chin-mounted cam blister with full 360-degree movement and the customary bulbous housing may be found on the nose. Each boom has an engine nacelle driving three bladed rotor units in a puller arrangement and is held outboard of the wing bases. The tail fins are vertical and taper towards the back of the booms. A standard horizontal stabilizer connects the fins at their bottom. Drone number 7, MQ-1 Predator. The MQ-1B Predator is a multi-mission, moderate-altitude, remotely-piloted drone used primarily for information gathering and attacking dynamic targets. It has a unique capacity to execute the Strike, Coordination, and Reconnaissance, or SCAR, against peak-value, transient, and time-sensitive targets due to its substantial loiter time, broad sensors, multi-mode connectivity suite, and precise weaponry. Four sensor weapon-driven drones, a ground-based control station, the Predator primary satellite link, spare gear, and operation and maintenance teams for deployed 24-hour missions make up a fully operating system. The Predator's essential crew consists of a rated pilot who will manage the aircraft and direct the operation of an enlisting air crew member who will handle sensors and ammunition and, if necessary, a mission coordinator. 
the operator controls the plane from within the ground control station using a line of sight data connection or a satellite data connection for operations outside line of sight. Drone number six, Wing Lung 2. The Wing Lung 2 is a Chinese UAV developed by the Chengdu sector for use as a monitoring, aerial surveillance, and accurate strike framework. The UAE has used the export edition of this Chinese drone in several Middle Eastern quarrels. Pakistan and Egypt have also bought dozens of them. According to the manufacturer, it can store up to 440 pounds of laser-guided missiles and is competent in air-to-air -air weapons. Wing Lung 2 has a range of 2,845 miles and can fly at a top speed of 229 miles per hour. This drone has a similar design to the Wing Loon 1, but it is wide and long. The empennage and fuselage are monoplane thin, with a dorsal fin and pronounced V-tail. Its landing pack, which comprises two primary wheels beneath the fuselage and one solitary wheel beneath the nose, allows for safe flying. It can carry up to 881 pounds of payload. In addition, it can carry more than 12 beam-guided explosives or missiles weighing 1,058 pounds. The Wing Lung may take only two missiles or rockets with a total mass of 220 pounds. Drone number five, RQ-11 Raven. The RQ-11 Raven is a compact unmanned aerial system, or UAS, developed for military and commercial missions with quick deployment and excellent mobility. Aerovironment, an American defense company, designed the tactical UAS to suit Army needs for low-altitude scouting, surveillance, and target tracking. The superior avionics and GPS navigation system may be used manually or configured for autonomous navigation. Raven was created from the Flashlight SUAV in 2002 as part of the Army's Pathfinder ACTD program. Because it was handcrafted, mass manufacturing was not an option. As a result, Raven's upgraded versions Block 1 became the first LRIP version when it was delivered in May 2003. The drawbacks of Block 1, including the complicated launch procedure and lack of flight stability, were addressed in Block 2, which was given to the military in September 2003. The U.S. Special Operations Command bought 179 Raven systems, each with three UAVs. The RQ-11A Raven Air Vehicle was formally identified as part of Batch 2. Drone number 4, X-47B. The Northrop X-47B is a prototype autonomous assault aerial drone designed for missions from aircraft carriers. However, all indicators point to the United States Air Force going to adopt some more advanced predecessor, possibly supersonic and combat capable. The X-47 merits to be noted due to its exceptional features and functionality. It was only a technology demonstrator program that has since been discontinued. The RQ-180 is probably the spiritual successor of the X-47B, with a range of 2,423 miles at subsonic speed in the future X-47 series. These historic experiments confirm the notion of future uncrewed aircraft and demonstrate that the X-47B can conduct regular operations such as aerial refueling while smoothly integrating with commercial airliners as part of the carrier air wing. The X-47B UCAS was created to aid the Navy in their research into the future of unmanned carrier aviation. The effective flight test program is paving the way for creating a more permanent fleet of unmanned drones stationed on carriers. Drone number three, RQ-12 WASP. Today's wartime demands are driving a vast and rapidly expanding unmanned aircraft business. Aerovironment is a master in the design, development, and manufacture of unmanned aircraft and the WASP-3 was introduced to their portfolio of capable aviation in 2007. The U.S. Air Force Special Operations Department requested that this tiny UAS be built. The project aimed to provide lightweight, transportable, remote-controlled UAS units to in-field operators for overhead surveillance and target identification. The WASP-3 system has a wingspan of 2.4 feet and 1.25 feet. Without its mission cargo, which consists of stabilized cameras that provide high-resolution, real-time footage in both day and night activities, it weighs less than one pound. These machines include full tilt, pan, and zoom capabilities. The camera module is mounted in the aircraft's belly. The plane is driven by a single electric motor propelled by rechargeable batteries and operates a two-bladed propeller unit located on the nose. The maximum range is three miles at cruising speeds of 40 miles per hour. Drone number two. Dassault Neuron. 
The Dassault Neuron is a French company's experimental UCAV, with France, Greece, Germany, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland participating in the project. The primary objective of the development is to design a stealthy, independent UAV that can operate in medium and high-danger combat zones. Its primary purpose was to investigate the possibility of supplying up to two tons of explosives and protecting themselves against both ground-based and aerial opponents. The Neuron design emphasizes autonomous collaboration with crewed aircraft as a loyal wingman. The aircraft's top speed fluctuates between Mach 0.7 and 0.8. Neuron has a maximum takeoff weight of 13,227 pounds and weighs roughly 9,920 pounds. Drone number one. Elbit Hermes 900 The Hermes 900 is the most advanced male UAV with enhanced sensors, video equipment, and other task-specific payloads to enable its battlefield capabilities. It has a mission persistence window of 36 hours and is designed for extremely long loitering durations. The Elbit Hermes 900 is a medium-sized military drone with a 30-hour lifespan and a ceiling of 30,000 feet. The Azeri and Israeli forces have used the Elbit Hermes 900 in battle, with notable successes. On July 15, 2014, the Hermes 900 flew its first operational mission, which was part of a series of operations that culminated with a fighter aircraft strike on terrorist facilities. Elbit Hermes 900 performed really well on that occasion, with numerous successes. In conclusion, Military drones are one of the most rapidly emerging technologies and militaries all over the globe are racing to adopt them. Which of these drones in the list do you think is the deadliest? Let us know in the comment section below. And also, make sure to click the like and subscribe buttons for more military updates and super catchy videos. Until next time!